You guys are going to love this one. Our next bit is called the exploding tattoo. Apparently, the myth goes that if you have some sort of decorative tattoo and go into an MRI, the tattoo explodes. Let's outline the situation. Tattoo ink, especially ink used more than 20 years ago, contains traces of metal. A magnetic resonance imager, or MRI, is basically a powerful magnet with a force at least 30,000 times greater than the Earth's magnetic field. When metal fragments in the tattoo meet the MRI magnet, so the story goes, the result is a lot more painful than actually getting the tattoo in the first place. So are you going to get an MRI? No. No? No. The Junior Mythbusters are trying to make tattoo ink that will explode in an MRI. They're going shopping for art supplies at the butchers. We need some pork. But it, pork? Yeah, but it has to have the skin left on it. Okay. Oh, oh. look at that. We can cut the meat off the skin. So what's it going to be, the leg or the belly? Don't ask me, I'm a vegetarian. This is my old friend, Maddie. And he is responsible for the new ink on my arm. Welcome, Matty. How are you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And he's here today. He's going to show us how to tattoo on our pig. All right. Hey, Matty, you ever tattoo a pig before? <laughs> no, I never tattooed a pig. I was told to try pig ears when I was learning how to tattoo. But I never tried a pig. I used my own leg. Matty's heard the MRI myth, too. I don't think that it's true because I would hear a lot more about people coming back to the tattoo parlors and being like, what happened to my tattoo? <laughs> but I've never heard anybody come into a tattoo parlor and say, I went and got an MRI and my tattoo exploded. You know, I think that would be pretty big news. The pork is cut into portions. Matty will use two different inks, a regular tattooing pigment and a special brew full of iron oxide the one compound that reacted to the electromagnet. Matty, here's the ultra-metallic pigment. Check it out, see if you think the consistency is good enough. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Right, it's time to get some pigment into this pig. Gross. <laughs> You're not getting near my arm. <laughs> You're not getting near me with that thing. Carrie, it might be safer if you stick to felt tip. The pork bellies are primed for scanning. Okay, so this is our special Mythbusters Super Iron Oxide Ink. So if anyone's going to explode, it's going to be this one. There's a glitch on the image. The heavy iron oxide content seems to be having an effect. So you think that what we tattooed is actually making an interference on your scan. Definitely. But it's not explosive. Well, it didn't explode. So go ahead and blot it and see if any of the pigments came up. No. No. No pigments been pulled to the surface. All right. So next one we're going to do is the traditional iron oxide, what you normally find in a regular tattoo parlor. The iron oxide in the regular ink also interferes with the scan, but the effect is much smaller. But in the end, Scotty, Tori, and Carrie are left with chunks of unexploded tattooed pork. All right, Scotty, exploding tattoos, tell us what you came up with. Well, clearly iron oxide is the culprit here. Iron oxide definitely reacts to the magnetic field, and it's very common in a lot of tattoo inks. But at most, it's going to cause heating. There was one case of a blister with the operators that we talked to, but it's not going to explode. So you're telling us there was no exploding tattoo? No, Jamie. I know that disappoints you, but I'm a little relieved about that. So myth confirmed? Plausible? Myth busted, I'm saying. 